Hey everybody, yeah, it's just me again, Mr. McKay. Just going to go through the last one for this assignment, which is the non-destructive dodge and burn. So this requires us to do a number of things. So we've already done our adjustment levels layer, and we've done a gradient, which is excellent. You can see that change there. But um, let's just say that uh, we wanted to lighten or darken a few areas still, but just some specific areas. Well, what we can do is we can use what's called dodge and burn. And how we do that is, seems a little tricky at first, but it's quite a simple process. So the first thing you need to do is add a new layer. So this button down the bottom here is create a new layer. So we've created a new layer there, and we can now go up to edit and go fill. Now your option will most likely be looking at foreground colour when it first comes up. You need to change that to 50% grey. Go OK. And you can say, see there's a grey. Now 50% grey is halfway between white and black. What we need to do is for every layer, we've got some options. We've got fill, opacity and what type of layer it is. So this one, we drop down and we've got a huge range of different type of layers we can use. These have different effects. We want to click on the overlay layer. And you can see that now disappears the grey right? because it's an overlay layer. So what we do now is we simply paint on with a paintbrush black or white in the areas we want to either darken or lighten. So we grab the, the paintbrush tool which is over here in the tool palette and along the top your tools will say something similar to this where you've got opacity 100% and flow at 100%. What we want to do is we want to chuck those down to about 25% each. Alright, so opacity and flow down to 25%. And from there, we're now going to paint either white to lighten or black to darken. So down the bottom here, you've got your white and your black paint colours. You could swap between them by clicking on this little uh, arrow. If for some reason you had chosen, if you click on it, you could choose a different colour. Just for some reason you had that and you wanted to go back to black and white, all you need to do is click on this little icon above it and it will take it straight back to black and white. So you can go between those. Let's go with some darkening for a start. Now the size of your paintbrush can change. You can either come up the top here and change the size or on your keyboard you can do the, the square and squiggly bracket tool to go bigger or smaller. So depending on what it is, you can go bigger and smaller. And what I also suggest you do is on the areas we want to work on, zoom in. So click the zoom tool and let's say we want to just darken this area a little bit. Alright, so zoom in when you're working on stuff. Back to your paintbrush. And now we're simply just painting. Now when you're doing it, you might not see huge difference straight away but I'm just simply painting. So there might be an area you just want to touch up. Once I've done that, now if I click on and off the, the, the eye button here, you can actually see the difference now. There's quite a big difference. And I could I did a rough job then, but you would do a much better job and get that a little bit neater. All right, say we wanted to lighten something, I'm gonna zoom back out. So holding the Alt key and zooming back out. Say we wanted to lighten just this area around here. Okay, so we get our paintbrush tool. This time I'm going to swap it to white and I'm going to paint. And it might not seem like it's doing much. And I'm doing a very, very rough job here. You would do a much better job. Let's just do that. And you can see on the screen, if you look close enough, there's a black area and a white area. Now if I take the eye off, you can actually see the difference I've just made. When you're doing it, it seems hardly anything, but when you go on and off with the eye, you can see the difference. So I might be then happy with that, and that's how we do the non-destructive dodge and burn. Alright, just last thing with the zoom, if you want it to be back into a full screen, you can either fit screen or full screen or 100%, which would take you to the size of the image. It's a nice droplet there. Alright, so that's how you can work around that. Thank you for that, and we'll see you soon.